I want to start this week with a few facts. Fact one. Contrary to the deluded protestations of the Corbynistas, the Tories won the election. Fact two. They're by far the biggest party with a 42% share of the vote, the biggest any leaders had since Blair's 1997 landslide. Fact three. This election result was not a protest vote from the anti-Brexit brigade. At least 85% of us voted for pro-Brexit parties. Those that wanted a second referendum, the Greens and the Lib Dems, lost votes. All that said, Theresa May cocked it up royal style. She waged one of the most inept, lacklustre, kamikaze election campaigns I've ever witnessed. And yes, it would have been easier for her to quit, but she didn't. She decided to plough on despite the tsunami of criticism, humiliation and abuse she knew was coming. Because she knows that leaving Britain rudderless at one of the most important times in its history could be catastrophic. Which is why it's shameful that a bunch of self-serving Tory Remainers are now using the chaos to try and sabotage Brexit and in the process trashing any chance we ever had of getting a good deal. Like it or not, Mrs May is going nowhere for now. So let's get behind her. Britain's future depends on it. Now, Carol, you might be <laughs> quite surprised here <laughs> yes. to say that actually there is, you have an argument. Oh, hello. Yeah. That's the best we've ever got yeah. to yeah. say. Yeah. You I love that. That. That <laughs> because there is no doubt, I mean, that, that when <laughs> the Tories won the last election, yeah. they only got 37% of the yeah. vote. Yeah. And they got a majority of 17, I think. This time they get 42% of the vote and they don't get a majority. That's, that's as far as our agreement goes. Oh, right. <laughs> that's as far as I agree. So, but that's all about the strength, because you've got to accept that 58% didn't vote for her. 58% mm -hmm. voted well, against her. Well, 42% did, and that was the biggest landslide, as I said, since Sh Tony Sean Blair's. But, but our electoral system is our electoral system. And mm -hmm. people like you have been arguing, those of us who believe in proportional representation, people like you have been arguing against it forever. No problem. You can't no. start using it now. I mean, the truth is, she ran a terrible, she, she ran a terrible she campaign, as you said. She did. And she lost. Mm. Uh, no, she didn't lose. She won the election. Well, she didn't win the election. You can't, she did. You can't take a majority votes. government into a, being a minority government and say you won the election. You no, know, you can. You can say she won the election, she lost seats. It was a, ba it was a bad move, and her campaign made her lose seats. It, I, I completely get all that. I completely... I mean, I accept all of that. Well, uh, it's much worse than that, because what she really told us was that she couldn't go in and do the Brexit negotiations unless she got, no, a, bigger, she... Unless she got a bigger majority, mm. and she hasn't got a majority at all now. So how can we let her go and do the Brexit negotiations? Look, the, the bottom line is, if Brexit isn't sorted, we could be in political and economic chaos for the next decade. It needs to be sorted, and she is the one going to sort it now, majority or not, she's going in to do it. Cal Labour have already no, said no, they no. don't want cross-party talks. I might have, have misinterpreted. Oh. Are you... From your introduction to this, do you, are you saying she did a good job? No, I'm saying right. she did a terrible job. Right. But, no, I'm saying she did a terrible job. I right. thought the campaign was one of the worst campaigns I've ever seen. But she lost. She she lost seats. Right. Yeah, but you you say the fact that she got this massive massive share, the best I think you said since Tony Blair. Right. So, so what's mm. the underlying point that she did a terrible job, but she managed to attract? No, my, so... my underlying point is the Tories have won the election. We've got to get behind her and them now instead of pulling her apart because pulling her apart does not do this country any good. This is like a dictatorship. Yes, but well, who's, it, well, who's it like we? a dictatorship? Well, she, who's we've got to get behind her? The we, country. The country. The country so is the me and her and the rest get, of us, and we don't agree with her. So you don't get behind her, what no. happens? I don't go. Why would I possibly want to, to get behind her? I didn't vote for her. I don't like her. I think, she was, I think she's terrible. I think she should have gone. Why would I but want to get behind her? she hasn't gone. Why would I want to get behind her? I think she'll be the worst person possible. Are you saying that it's time to be patriotic and get behind Brexit? Oh, that's the No. Irrespective of whoever is, is going to lead those negotiations. That. I mean, because from my point of view, she's got to keep as far away from negotiations as but possible. She's, but You've she's, got to send you can in a say team. All, all of you can say that, but that's not what's going to happen. She's going to be there. She's going to be part of those negotiations. And I, and I think us pulling her apart in public every day, eviscerating her mm. the, way, the way it's happened over the past mm. week, is a pointless exercise. I sort of think she turned out to be a bloody difficult woman to vote for. Yeah. And she, on election night, she couldn't even sack herself. I mean, how she is going to be the strong, stable candidate to take us through what is going to be the most politically uh, you know, difficult period of this country's history since 
I don't know. Sounds so awful. How can you? Yeah, do I don't. It. Do you know why I don't? Oh, Greg, we've got to get. So if Mr. No, Corbyn, no, if Mr. Corbyn had won, <laughs> say Mr. Corbyn was now the prime minister, Please don't and he's be having to do the negotiation, you'd be making the same argument, would you? No, I wouldn't. That's your argument, Dave. Simply because he has zero experience in Europe and zero experience in government. It's no point. You said she is now the prime minister, and she should. We should get behind her. That's what all Tories say when they're in trouble. It's like saying that someone who works in a, in a sweet shop can actually run the country. They can't. Jeremy Corbyn does not know how to deal with Europe. He's never had to. He's, and he's, she does. He's, she does. Actually, she, but, can I just well, say, she does can we just actually yeah. acknowledge she has been quite endearing since she was she, reprogrammed on Friday. Exactly. And she, she was went to She went yes. to over and she watched the footy oh, yeah. with did President Macron. Wave by herself. Yes. And she did the Mexican <laughs> wave in yeah. a way that none of us have ever but seen also, it done before. But, but, <laughs> let's have a look. Let's yeah. have a look. We look, shall we, been, we all make, can we do been photoshopped from that's part of her campaign because that looks really By the way, did you see the way I think President that's her holding her hands up to Corbyn. So I, I think surrender. she's saying, I give I in. Surrender. Yes. Did you see the way President Macron looked into her eyes when he met her? It was love. He had I mean, me. He had oh, me. In the moment, he had me. He does like an older woman, Carol, so <laughs> we have room with a chance. I did tweet and say, am I too old? Well? Oh, he was allowed to stay up that night despite it being a school night by his wife. He did very well, Macron, that night. But you know, the thing is, she has she has been contrite. She has she has sacked those two numpties who were advising her. Thank goodness. No. That that, oh, that oh. So she threw them under the bus yes, because she, she sacked them to, to keep her they own position. Been, they've been keeping her in, in government for yeah, years. Uh, well, they haven't done a very the good job, have they? Years. That's, that's no, the, the truth they is, very, and now she has said she would be more inclusive. She, oh, will now she wouldn't know how the to cabinet. be. She's, 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 her, she's gonna she's gonna have to learn. Poor old in the corner. You are quite Sorry, let's look at if you talk to anybody who was in that cabinet when she was the Home Secretary. She was a pain in the ass <laughs> the whole time, and she, she was a pain, in, and she carried on being a pain in the ass, Maybe. and now she can't lose. Well, so we suddenly well, should be a new We guarantee the people. pledge is not going to be but shown the, on the, Thursday the, night. The, <laughs> people who said she was a pain in the ass are the very people who pushed her into leadership so just a few months ago. Let's let's move this on. So what is the what do we do? What do we do with her? Do I we think get, we try and get behind her, try she's and not, not question her, not allow the, the... Of course we question her, of course we question her. She's not my choice, I wouldn't necessarily have her there. But she is there, the Tories have decided to let her go on with it. What's the point is, is of just, just gonna, Is she not just a every... figurehead, basically? She's no, going to have no power within the party. Yeah, she's going to be herself. controlling her in a cabinet that is so split between remain and leave. Actually, more remain than leave. Well, How no, that's no, work? No, no, there's more Tory MPs want to leave than remain. No, not in the cabinet. It, Carol. No, maybe it's We've not got in the 20 plays 7 in the cabinet. Yes. 20 Remainers yes. plays 7 Brexiteers exactly. in the cabinet. In the cabinet. She's but out generally, late. Tories generally, she needs support from the whole party and she would have no, it from she, the whole party. No, but if take Parliament overall. And there's a vast majority but, wanting to remain. So let's let them have some influence as opposed to just... I mean, she basically didn't want to consult her cabinet about anything she was doing, talking about anything else. Um, what are they going to have influence over, though? Because ultimately, are they gonna, are they, is there going to be more debate around, um, you know, the, the, the customs union and... Well, the but first thing's going to be the size win. of the cheque, isn't it? Yes. Because it, that, that's what, in terms of sequencing, mm. that our EU partners want that settled before they talk about trade. Mm. And the reason she, one of the bigger reasons she wanted the majority was because what if they want 100 billion before they even start open, open talks, Nick? And that's a ridiculous thing. Uh, only, yeah, it, it is an absolute nightmare, but I, I, I can't, it is. I, I, I come back to so this idea. I think, sort of, Greg did rather destroy your argument respectively. <laughs> yeah, that, if, if, that if it was Mr. Corbyn, we wouldn't actually have to carry no, on and be brave. And that's just because it's Jeremy Corbyn. Well, all right.